All right, behind me we have our 97 Astro van. We're going to take it on a road trip, so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do uh, idler arms, we're going to do front brakes, we're going to do rear shocks, and we're going to do rear drum brakes. So we're going to do the whole system, and I'm going to kind of walk you through it step by step, show you how to do the entire system. Um, it's probably be, I don't probably be three videos. We might make it three or four videos just to split it up. But this will be my introduction for all the videos. So I uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. And this is a video you need to learn some stuff on. So, all right. We've removed the wheel. You can go ahead. You want to make sure that you take and release your parking brake. You can't have your parking brake off or you can't remove this drum. It should just basically kind of pull out. If for some reason your drum doesn't break away from your shoes, if you just hit it with a hammer, usually it'll break it you know, the seal and then you can wiggle it loose. If it still doesn't come off, uh, you may have to go in and loosen your adjuster down here on the bottom and collapse your brake shoes. Because sometimes these will get stuck and they they like have like these rivets in here and they get stuck inside the drum. So if it doesn't come off, you may have to adjust the brake lining uh, smaller this diameter so you can get them off. But these ones came off because we've serviced them quite regularly. So we're gonna go through, we'll show you how to remove all the springs um, how to bring everything out, how to clean it up, and put it back together. We've got some new drums that we're going to be putting on. I'll mic them and I'll show you the difference between the new ones and the old ones. And we'll just go ahead and start on that. There's these two springs. Um, there are special brake tools that you can use to do this. I'm going to show you just backyard tools. The reason that for that is so that any uh, person can do it with a little bit of technical know-how. Um, so the first thing you want to do is release these, then everything else will kind of come apart. Um, the disassembly is not the hard part, it's putting it back together is the tough part. So there's a little pin back here, I'm just going to go and push on that, then I turn this, and that'll pop out. Now I keep a little thing right underneath here so I can put all my nuts and bolts and hardware. So that's basically what that looks like is little nipple on that end and then this goes down over the top you just got to hold this from the back side so I'll do the other side here and I'm just using needle nose pliers just kind of push it in the inside and you may have to kind of play with it a little bit that's one thing about these rear brakes is you're gonna find that sometimes you have to put them together two or three times to make sure everything's correct okay? now everything will just kind of fall apart and that's okay doesn't matter till the end. So now I'm just going to take um, my standard pliers and I'm going to pull this forward. Because this is your main spring. You could probably want to pull this bottom adjuster out first. I don't know if you guys can see everything from there, but pull that out. You just want to disassemble everything, get as much of it out as you can. Like I said, the actual taking it apart is not the hard part it's just getting everything back together correctly so get that spring out just make sure you don't bend anything when you're starting to pull parts out just you know use enough power to get stuff apart but don't you know don't start bending the springs and because then you're going to need a new hardware kit if you do it right you don't need any hardware um and just pull that one out from the top now it's just kind of all falling apart that's okay don't get too scared it's just easy it's an easy job I've done I don't know probably 15 or 20 times so I've had them all fall apart and able to get them back together the biggest thing is to just not be afraid to tear it apart do what you have to do to get things out just like I said don't bend springs just kind of take your time hopefully my hands not totally in the way Kind of got to work it out. And uh, it doesn't really matter how it comes apart because we'll do one side at a time and then I'll go and look at the other side just to make sure everything's put back to together correctly. Um, so don't get too concerned about it all making sense. But, you know, it didn't take very long. It would take two minutes to take that side, side apart. So here's your two brake shoes. Uh, pretty simple. I did notice on the new ones that the 
back one is actually smaller. I'll show you here. The back one's actually got a smaller lining, which is normal. Some manufacturers do it that way. Um, what you want to make sure is that everything else measures up correctly, that all your rivets are in the right place, all your joints are all uh, symmetrical, everything is the same. The brake lining itself, it just depends on the manufacturer and how they build them. Some pads have a have really thick lining, some don't. But anyway, that's how you tear it apart, and then we'll go ahead and clean it up. All right, on my next little topic, I'm gonna to kind of talk about what the parts are in here. Now, all I used to take that apart was some needle nose pliers. I took the whole brake assembly apart with just needle nose pliers. Right here, you have um, these, or it's called a wheel cylinder. You have a piston on this side, and you have a piston on this side. If you push them back and forth and they move freely, there's nothing wrong with that. If there's no oil leaking, your wheel cylinder's fine. If this is wet and there's a lot of oil in here and one side's stuck, then I would replace your wheel cylinder. Otherwise, this particular situation, no. This right here is your emergency brake cable. You don't do anything with this. It just, just kind of hangs here. Uh, you will connect it into your pad. When you put your pad back on, it kind of goes in there and it connects underneath like that. So just let that hang there. And then these are the points where your actual brake pad rides. And sometimes they get a little bit of a groove in here. And like this one's got a good groove right here. So I'll take my grinder and I'll grind that down because if you don't, that'll start hanging up. And I think that's probably what the problem was with this because every time you'd release the brake, you'd feel a clunk and a thud. And I think what it was is because that pad was stuck in that groove right there. So you want to make sure you sand these three points right here, which is like a little grinder, uh, you know, a little sanding disc on both sides. There's three on this side and three on this side. And then the top of your pad rides up here on that. So you just want to make sure that there's no real hard edges so that your new brake lining uh, rotates and moves back and forth without any you know, friction and stuff like that. So I'll come through and I'll clean all this up and then I'll show you how to do these uh, rivets. And off these little ridges here, I'm just using the angle die grinder. Uh, my air compressor is going to kick on, so it'll get kind of noisy, but I'll just show you how to do that. And I got uh, 40 grit sandpaper on there, and then I'm just going to burr that off real quick. Doesn't have to be locked. Just want to make sure there's no hard edge on it. This is actually a really, really important part on servicing the brake. And up here on the top. Now when I reassemble this, I'll actually put grease in there so that it kind of can slide and seat itself in with the new pads. Dry them off. And then I'll come back with a wire brush and just kind of clean it up some. And then we'll go ahead and start to assemble this. And I usually get one can uh, for each hub, like I already did the front brakes. So I'll use one can for each hub, that way I just have enough brake cleaner to clean it all up. And then all my other hardware is in here, and I'll just let it kind of sit in some brake cleaner as well. Kind of get some of the brake dust off of there too.